shops now. And we have another book story for you. It's written by a woman in County Louth and she hopes that people who read it will find solace in these challenging times. Valerie Waters went to visit her on a beautiful day, not like today, when the views from the Cooley Mountains couldn't have been more beautiful. The Cooley Peninsula in County Louth is where Cavan-born writer Fiona Fay lives. Here to the spectacular views of Dundalk Bay and the Cooley Mountains, she came four years ago and found that this place was perfect for giving her inspiration. Yesterday I saw the earth beautiful She writes on matters of mind, body and spirit. Her non-religious book, Who Is God You Are, is what may be regarded as a manual for spiritual awareness. When I said, who is God? You are. You know, the truth is that God is actually within you and that's who we actually are in terms of our true, true, true nature. But unfortunately, a lot of that has got covered up through our conditioning and through um, beliefs that society, you know, imposes on us and things we take on from external forces, maybe our parents, education, etc. Um, and that takes us away from our own true essence. This is who we are as our true nature, symbolically speaking, a diamond, okay? And you can see the diamond radiating the light, okay? And it's transparent, okay? And a diamond is very sought after. We're all seeking this, you know, this truth within ourselves. It's solid, solid as a rock, as they say. It's natural um, and it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And a diamond is a diamond. You can't, there's no denying that a diamond isn't a diamond. And this is who we completely are in our true, true, true nature, okay? Um, so imagine feeling solid. Imagine feeling secure and that certainty, like, I know who I am, you know, like a diamond knows who it is, it's a diamond. Imagine you feeling you knew who you were all of the time, that you were just reflecting light and just giving out this beauty and joy and all of that. And then what happens is life comes along, we go to school or we go to whatever and our parents tell us the way we should be in the world and all of a sudden we start to forget that there's any such thing as my true nature. Before Fiona came to live in this 300-year-old cottage, situated not far from Ravensdale, she worked in the corporate world, a very different place from where she is now. So my background actually was in the corporate world. I worked in an investment bank um, in the people, people area and human resources. And it was when I left there that all of this new life evolved. <laughs> So I became awakened. I had a spiritual awakening. I never knew anything about anything like that up until 2005 and my whole world completely turned around for the better. What happened was I completely came into the moment. I started accessing this connection that's within myself. I started to see life entirely differently um, in a very, very, very empowered way. I came into being present. I stopped worrying about the past and being consumed by the past and I stopped worrying about the future and trying to make the future happen and I was missing out on all of life rather than being present and that's exactly what's happening right now in Ireland is that people are living in the past or they're living in the future especially around the recession and not being present and when you become present actually that's when you become empowered and you tap into that connection within yourself. In her book, Fiona writes about calming the constant chatter in the mind. These thoughts can deny a person the chance to live in the present. In Whose God You Are, I show people how to become present. And from that space, then you can get intuitive solutions, intuitive thoughts, um, knowing decisions, clear thinking, knowing what to do next. I mean, this is an airy fairy. This is as real as you can get. This is really practical, really easy. It's just knowing how to do it. I'm saying absolutely nothing new. I'm, I'm just saying it in a simple, practical, accessible way for the people of Ireland today. Fiona's book has been positively received amongst the community of mind, body, spirit writers in America 
but she is concentrating at the moment on spreading the word about spiritual awareness at home. I am here in Ireland, I live here, I love this country and I love every, I love the people and I really want to make sure that this isn't an American thing or, it, you know, it's for everybody, it's for everybody because we're all the same. Yesterday I saw the earth beautiful Where love was daydream free An interesting woman and from the Coolies we're off to County Waterford now and a fishing project that has united a 